My name is Jonathan Hicks, and today we're adding and subtracting decimals! Woo! It doesn't get much more exciting than this. Well, okay, it probably does get a little bit more exciting than this. Adding and subtracting decimals can be a little bit dry, but it's very easy to do. There are two things you need to know how to do before you can do this, though. Firstly, you've got to be able to add and subtract with normal numbers. So if you don't know how to do that, go and watch the adding and subtracting videos. And secondly, you need to understand place value. That's the columns that numbers sit in. So you've got your units, your tens, your hundreds, etc. So make sure you understand place value. If you're not sure about that, there's a place value video. You can watch that one as well. Once you get all that, then come back here. But it's really easy, so I'll just launch right in. So if we take, uh, I'm going to take a mix of numbers here. So 7.6, 0 0.89, and then we'll have a, some big number, 435.1, something like that. Uh, maths teachers do like to give you a mixture of these things on maths tests. And sometimes in real life you encounter this kind of thing as well. So I've got like, this has got units and tenths. This hasn't got any units at all. It's got tenths and hundredths. This then goes the other way. So you've got hundreds, tens, units, etc. So the main thing with this is you've got to line up all the columns properly. You must lay it out vertically. And as long as you line it up, it'll all work fine. So if we go with 7.6 to start with, you write that there. Now this one, you've got to line it up. This is the units. First one on the left of the decimal point is always the units column. So that's got to sit underneath the units for this one as well. So that goes there, decimal point goes underneath, and the rest of it will just follow along there. So 0.89. Now the 435.1, again, the 5 is the units, first one on the left of the decimal point, so the 5 is going to go here. Decimal point goes there. Once you've got the starting point, I usually go to the units first, the rest of it just fills in around. So it's going to be 435.1. Now one thing I should point out here is you've got a couple of gaps, you can see like here and here. It's often helpful to fill in the gaps with zeros. You've got nothing there, and remember, after the decimal point, zeros on the end don't do anything anyway. So you can always fill those in, and that'll help you just line things up and be confident about what goes in what column. So once you've lined it all up, it's just straightforward addition. So 0 plus 9 plus 0 is just 9. 6 plus 8 gives you 14. Plus 1 gives you 15, and you must remember to carry the 1 here. So you carry the 1 to give you 15. The decimal points will all sit underneath each other, including the 1 in the answer. 7 plus 5 is 12 plus the one you carried, don't forget about that one, use your 13, carry the one again, 3 plus the one you carried is 4, and 4 plus nothing else gives you 4. So the final answer here will be 443.59. Just line it all up correctly with the columns, you won't go wrong. So that's addition, subtraction is exactly the same except you just subtract instead of add. I'll show you an example quickly but it really is no different. Okay, let's do 8.6, and I'll line it up already, there's no point writing it out twice, minus 2.94. So you see I've lined up my units column, decimal points, that's the tenths column, and then this would be the hundredths column. Now I've intentionally picked one here, where you've got a gap minus the four. But again, remember, on the end here, if you've got nothing there, it's just a zero. So fill it out with a zero to line everything up, and then you'll be able to do the subtraction. So nothing minus four, oh, we can't do that, so you borrow from the six, knock the six down by one, put the one there, that makes the zero into a ten. Ten minus four gives you six. Five minus nine, can't do that either, so we borrow from the eight. Knock it down by one, put your one there, 5 goes to 15, 15 minus 9 gives you 6, decimal point sits underneath, just like for addition, 7 minus 2 gives you 5. So the final answer there is 